What's up, Hack Club? It's your boy Fancy back with a brand new video. Today's video, we're trying something new, something that I've never done on this channel before. An unboxing and overview of a product. Today, we're, we're, we're going to be taking a look at the Elgato Stream Deck. This is a gift that I received for Christmas this year. Shout out to the fam. Thank you so much for loving and supporting your boy. Uh, while I'm not an expert on the Stream Deck and everything that it's capable of, this is going to be an honest over an honest uh, overview and, uh, and unboxing and uh, for, from the perspective of a streamer slash content creator uh, on a budget uh, if you like this kind of if you like this video and you want to see more you want to see more unboxing videos on the channel hit that like button and comment down below let me know what other kind of what other products you want to see unboxed and reviewed here on the channel i appreciate all the love and support folks we'll catch you in the next one peace love stay fancy y'all Hey, what's going on, folks? Uh, so yeah, uh, like you saw in the intro, we are reviewing the uh, we're overviewing uh, the Elgato Stream Deck that I received as a gift for Christmas this year. So let's take a look. Go ahead. All right. So we, uh, I, I hope, I hope uh, you guys watching appreciate the the effort that I went through to get this top down camera for this un for this unboxing. Uh, so we got here the Stream Deck. So let's, uh, let's check this bad boy out. Uh, that people like a good unboxing, so hope you a ASMR folks appreciate this. Right here. Alright. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Alright. There she blows. Elgato Street Deck. Got the deck itself right up, right up, right up front, right here. This is the device itself. Love the uh, Elgato symbol that's just like built into the device itself. Love that. Part of the stand gives you like a nice non-grip or non-slip surface. That way, when it's sitting on your deck, on your desk, and you're pushing buttons, you're not—it's not sliding around. The buttons themselves. Ooh, I'm sure if you guys can hear that. But... Nice buttons. Uh, they got a nice haptic feel to them. Really good haptic feel to them. What's really cool, and we'll go over this uh, later, but so as you can see, all the icons are blank right now because the device is not plugged in, but all of the icons are completely customizable. Like you, you can you can get custom uh, Stream Deck icon icons from places like like DVI Visual by Visual by Impulse. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for for some of the free. Uh, stream deck icons that they offer on their website so I'll put a link for that in the, in the description okay so we've got the device itself okay. looks like this might be cord yep I'm right we got here we got the power cord comes with a USB-C so this is a it's powered by USB-C uh, but the cool thing is this it is detachable so you can use any USB-C cord or cable. You don't have to use specifically use the one that comes with the device. Got the cord here, and I love for this. We get they give us. It's not just you know your standard USB-C cable. We've got this nice elongated L-shaped attachment. That way it can get it, it, it can really get nice nice and flush in with the, with the device itself. And then it's a uh, like your standard USB. USB-A that goes into your computer. The power cable for the Stream Deck. Looks like there's also some other materials in here as well. Like so your, your, your standard uh, startup guide. Some information. 
I think that's it, folks. I, th I think that's all that comes in the box. Super simple, super clean. Because all everything, all you know, meat and potatoes, as they would say, it's all right here in the deck itself. But also with the Stream Deck app that will go over that will go over later as well. That that you have access to with the Stream Deck. Oh, look at this. You can kind of see top-down view. Bam. My stream deck's gonna sit right, right there. That's beautiful. B E A beautiful. Love it. All right. So uh, now that we got this, this, this is a, a nice, nice camera angle, isn't it, folks? Uh, so now, so now, now that we've unboxed the device and kind of taken, taken a look at it, I'm gonna go ahead and get this and get this set up. And uh, and get it like set up to my to my liking, and we will be and we will be back, uh, and show we, uh, we show you what it all looks like set up. Appreciate you, folks. A few moments later. So this is the Stream Deck software. This so this is, here we are at my homepage. So I'm just gonna go over with you uh, some of the things that that I have been using my Stream Deck for. And keep in mind, there are so many so many other things that the Stream Deck is capable of and that you can use it for on top of what I am gonna display for you here today. Uh, for those of you here watching on YouTube, I am live now on Twitch, twitch.tv slash fancy hat club, link down in the description. Come hang out with us. We play, we, we, we play on the weekends, on Saturdays, but we like to play community games. Sundays, we play a single player campaign. Currently, I'm playing through The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So if you're interested in that, come through twitch.tv slash fancy hat club. I appreciate you. So here are some of the things that I have been using uh, uh, my, my, my stream deck for first and foremost, I have my main, my main OBS controls set up on, uh, set up with my stream deck. So by a push of the button, boop, I can go into like my scene changes for, for OBS. So like, I have like my, my start, my starting soon screen, you know, change the scene over, over to my starting screen. The, the track that you hear for my intro. I can turn that vo the volume of that on and off with the push the button on the stream deck. So I have all of my scenes set up. Wrong button. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I have all of my scenes set up, all, all my main scenes, as well as as well as my my pay my scenes within OBS for where I do you record where I usually do recording for YouTube videos, which is where, where I would normally be recording this, but we are live, baby. Uh, I also have my recording aspects for OBS set up as well. That way when I'm recording stuff for YouTube, I can just with the push of a button start recording. Uh, I also have some Spotify controls here as well. Uh, sh you know, for those of you who love Spotify and love to have control over you, over your music and sound, you can do that with Stream Deck. So right now, as you can see here, uh, I have a, in right here in the middle. This is my what's currently playing, and by because I, I have I have the sound muted right now. So if I go over to my Wavelink software sound, which I'll, 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 I'll kind of get to this in a moment, I could turn up the sound on my music and then go back here and press play. And now we got some, and now we got some music. I can press this again right here. So if, the, if, if you're not, as you see what I'm pressing, I'm pressing in on the physical button itself on my stream deck itself. So I could press press it in to press play or to press pause. Uh, the button right next to it. This is actually the the playlist that the songs that you're listening to. I have in a playlist on Spotify. It's all D copyright free, DMCA free music. A lot of it is Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Shout out Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Thank you for so much for making amazing copyright free music for us streamers and content creators. So I could just with the press of that button start. The playlist. I can also from from the, from this page, I could turn on or turn off the intro song, the intro sound for my intro page. There is a Spotify app. So if you look right here below me, or not, an, it's a plugin. I I, I I guess you could say, right here, there's a Spotify plugin for the Stream Deck. So I could set up 
you know, either next song. So like right here, I have this set up to, to skip songs, to, you know, to go next songs, so I can change this, so I can change tracks. And you, and you can see right here on my play button, I have it set to display the, the song that I'm currently listening to. So that way I know what song I'm going back and forth to. I can also control the volume of Spotify itself. So I can completely mute Spotify altogether if I wanted to. Or I could turn uh, the volume just with the push of a button. I could turn it uh, up and down. So like the way that I did that, just for, for an example, just so I know I'm talking about this. You may be wondering, Fancy, how do I set that up? Let me show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and completely delete this right here. This volume, this this function right here, I'm gonna completely delete this. Value love this? Hey, I'm glad you love this, I appreciate you. So I'm gonna delete this function right there altogether. So that was a volume up function. So right here in our Spotify plugin, we see right, we're gonna look in our list here, we see volume up right here. So I'm gonna click and drag this right over here and bam. So now it's set uh uh for uh, for for the, for this function what you can also set is you can display the volume on the key itself so if i turn this off it you can see it turn it, it takes away the, the that number right there but i like being able to see that you can also change the value for how much you want the volume to increase or decrease depending on what function you're using so i have it set to increase or decrease by 10. Keep in mind when you're setting all of this up, one of the steps that I didn't show you was that you had to give, you have to give Stream Deck permission, authorization within your Spotify app. You also need a Spotify premium account in order for this to work. So three Spotify years, I'm sorry, this, this plugin won't work for you. You have to have a Spotify premium account to do that. So I, 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 this is one of my favorite f features of the Stream Deck is being able to control my Spotify. But there's more. I have Twitch controls right here on my Stream Deck. So if I want to clip something, boop, I can clip it right there and it saves in my creator dashboard that clip right there and that and what that does is it saves the previous 30 seconds and just turns that into a clip i can also i can also do a stream marker as well so if I, maybe instead of doing a clip i want to mark a time on my stream where i can go back and edit it afterwards i can set a marker right there there's so many other things so many awesome features uh, I could go into, I, I could I could make individual videos, tons of them on all the different functions. If you want to see that, if you would love, if you want to see videos of me going into detail about each of these functions, let me know down in the comments below that, uh, on, on which of these functions you want to see me make a video on next. I appreciate all the love and support, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Love. Stay fancy.